Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. The advocates are staying positive on this edition, but aren't we always positive? Some might say. Well, we're making a special point of it, though, in the midst of turbulent times. I'll be kicking things off by turning our attention to the brave new world unfolding before our eyes. Ekene is getting us to try a little kindness, and I feel a song is coming on. Libera says a new Nigeria is possible. If you think it sounds like COVID talking, then you're absolutely right. And Bolahon lands us on the right side of things by reminding us to care for the vulnerable during these trying times. Well, like someone said, always look on the bright side of life. Another song? Maybe not, maybe so. You might want to sing a loss with us after the break. Creativity in a time of chaos. That's what I'm talking about today. And isn't it amazing that the human spirit kicks into action in response to chaos, challenges, and in some remote cases, even death? The number of people affected by the coronavirus pandemic doubles every three days in many countries. 20% of patients are hospitalized and 5% needs to be admitted in an ICU. The demand for ventilators is sky high and the number of infected individuals is still projected to outnumber the current worldwide supply of mechanical ventilators. So countries, companies, independent scientists and innovators are exploring ways to rapidly augment our mechanical ventilation capabilities. The global community is hunting for life-saving creative solutions. And the good news is the solutions are emerging. To borrow the words of Lu Chuanying, a senior official at a Shanghai-based global cyberspace governance, in the battle against COVID-19, emerging technologies have stood out by making immense contributions in an unexpected, creative and amazingly responsive way. In Wales, a new ventilator, a virus killing snood and a hands-free door pull are just some of the innovations coming out of there to tackle the COVID-19. In China, several Chinese firms have developed automated technologies for contactless delivery, spraying disinfectants and performing basic diagnostic functions in order to minimize the risk of cross-infection. And one of them is the AI-enabled fever detection systems. Can you imagine that? In Shenzhen, a company has installed its machines in more than 40 hospitals around the country to help medical staff. Another is deploying drones to transport medical samples and conduct thermal imaging. Advanced AI is being used to help diagnose the disease and accelerate the development of a vaccine. And the biggest one for me is that the Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba says its new artificial intelligence powered diagnosis system can identify coronavirus infections with 96% accuracy. They have helped arrest or contain the spread of the deadly virus. And that's becoming one of the most reliable and trustworthy means of combating COVID-19. Now, with such new technologies, we should make full use of them to find 
and contain the source of infection. Let's come home back here in Nigeria. Who would have thought the mile 12 markets will begin mobile marketing and delivery? But that's happening presently in response to the lockdown arising from the COVID-19. Creativity is on the rise in response to the state of the world and the needs of the world in these uncertain times. When this siege is over and COVID-19 has been battled to the ground, what new things will you have birthed? What should matter now is not only having so much time to play with, but having the clarity needed to birth that dream of yours at a time like this. One thing I know is sure, the world is going to witness an amazing line of new inventions and ideas after this COVID-19. Would yours be there? Would yours be there? Mine is already there. <laughs> Let me commend you for at least drawing our attention and our focus to the positives because you know a lot of people when they sit in front of the TV they feel bogged down by the recycling of bad news, people dying and yes there are lots of deaths. I think when we there look are. back we're not even able to mourn the amount of people who are dying. Some you hear in some countries 860 something in a day. Um, so it's really terrible but the positives are in the midst of that, and I'm glad you took time to chronicle that for us, you know, because I think what stands out for me in the midst of all what you said is the human mind. Because, of course, mile 12 doesn't compare with some of the stuff you're mentioning going on. You <laughs> I know? mean. But what stands out, you know, but, but still we have that human capacity to think and to be creative. For myself, I find that being able to be still, to sit with my family and to read and to actually reflect, not the usual, you know, go to school, go to work, do homework, eat. Now you can actually think and come up with things that you would not normally have come up with. So I really do feel it's a very positive advocacy for me and that appeals to each individual, not just to say, you know, they're doing it. We can no, each... I agree, even if um, some of these um, innovations might not um, see the limelight, you know, like the ones you mentioned, mm -hmm. but I can tell you for sure that there are so many innovative you know, stuff's going on now, even in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to talk about, um, you know, something like this until I saw yours. So I said, let me depart so we don't all begin to talk about the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because you find out that um, after this, this um, um, COVID-19, um, it's gone, like you said. Some, so some of the jobs that we all rush down to do in the offices would also discover that this idea of having to cross Todd Milan Bridge, clog the bridge, mm -hmm. and every, mm -hmm. you know, most of these jobs you've discovered that you can actually do them at home. The employers and should also, be listening to you. No, no, seriously, <laughs> I, the also, the of I, also, the I also know that there are some persons who, before now, were not used to using emails, yes. but now are very good at it because they are forced to do it. No, but the question home. is, so these are innovations. No, we will modify our practices in Nigeria. I think we like to that. We like to see you at your desk where we can supervise you. So. Are we likely to let you work from home? That's yeah, but the that's changing with COVID-19. Uh, because I've always to. advocated for, look, you can do three days at work, two days at home. But most employers don't feel well, secure. They don't feel comfortable. They don't but you don't have to yeah, micromanage people. The, the what, what, uh, what matters is results. Targets, yeah. I know some organizations, sorry, quick, quickly. I know some organizations, even before now, I know I have friends that will tell you I, I need to uh, uh, clock in because I'm working from home. Mm. I never, you would. Here in Nigeria? Yes, here in Nigeria, in Lagos, here. Yeah. Okay. You know, I have a neighbor, I have a neighbor who, you know, I used to think, you know, the guy was just a, a layabout until one evening he said, ah. I said, come join us uh, for a drink. He said, no, 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 sir. I'm, I need, I'm, I'm, I'm rushing to clock in now because, um, it's almost six. I, I'm resuming at six. I was like, what? It's you, you know, so gradually people would begin to do the stuff that you never thought, you know, would happen in Nigeria. You know, there are a few things in some of the existing platforms that we use, but that we're not even using them until this kind of circumstance will force us to start looking at it. I have my Go360 in the office. It has something called Teams. It's a collaboration tool. We can sit everywhere and still be working on the same document, the same project, and be updating. We can all watch the same video. We can receive the same presentation. You, never knew, same presentation. you never knew you could do that on People are having I meetings on Zoom. I never had to use it. Yeah. That's the reality. Exactly. People are having, having meetings on meetings, Zoom. Meetings, staff yeah. meeting on Zoom. So a lot of things are already It's clear already we don't work efficiently enough. But maybe it's because we're not putting... Oh, we don't work things. smart enough. Yes, we're not mm. putting first things first. I don't know if we're really interested in delivery here in Nigeria. I think we like the... We like to see the yes, people. Yes, we like yeah, the... It's part of the problem. I think this is the time it will have to change. Yeah, and so some of these things are changing now that 
that those idea of wanting to see everybody mm. now you discover that whether you like it or not you won't see anybody but you just need the job done yes exactly. and so people are getting job done yes. right in the comfort of their home for some time i've been working from home until you know the work stops and so it it actually shows that you know this idea of everybody rushing to the office. I, 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 I hope we stay with these innovations. Is, is, is you know, you know, we're going to change chronicle. our performance management to orientation. I hope we because stay with Because now the change. people have to now work based on deliverables, exactly. clear deliverables. I think that's the crux of it. The it will change our performance orientation. I mean, I couldn't chronicle everything in some in in Joss, some young people came together and fixed the ventilators people said weren't working. You, 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 you know, and, 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 they and, fixed and, it. And, and quickly, you also find out that there are some, some issues that we never really averted our minds to before, but are now that people are doing right in the comfort of their home. Mm -hmm. The world will never be the same. Nigeria also won't be the same. It Lagos won't so. be the I same. We continue with that and particularly, the mile 12 market was just yeah, mind impressed. blowing for me. I mean, who would have thought <laughs> that no, such a open market? Delivering tomatoes and peppers to people. No, no, but seriously. <laughs> Everyday people. If somebody, I mean, had, if somebody had told you that a time will come where people will cook soup and deliver to you, yes. you wouldn't have been able no. now, even before yeah. COVID-19. Yes, it was mm. happening. It was happening. I, was I even surprised. heard a lady is cashing out. I know that because is a friend to a friend of mine. She's cashing out in the UK now because she's catering for old people. So she, yeah. she's making food for them. They're buying. Oh, so wow. people are still making a lot of money. Yeah. Mm. Right. Like we will keep saying, now is the time for new discoveries. Ekene speaks of the right attitude to go with this brave new world after the break. <laughs>